day. A lot of people see daily lifting as a shortcut to faster muscle growth or strength gains. After all, if training a few times a week is good, then training every day must be better. Right? Well, yes and no. Daily weightlifting could help you build consistency and give you that mental boost of staying committed to something intense. But as with anything in fitness, there's a balance and daily lifting isn't a one size fits all approach. Let's start with the big question. Will lifting weights every day build more muscle? When you lift weights, you're causing micro tears in your muscle fibers. As they repair, they grow back bigger and stronger. But here's the thing, those muscles will only grow during rest. Without enough recovery time, you could end up in what's called a catabolic state, where your body breaks down muscle faster than it builds it. So if your goal is to maximize muscle growth, lifting every day could actually slow you down, especially if you're doing heavy, intense workouts each day. But there is a way around this. To lift every day safely, you'd focus on different muscle groups each day, something called a split routine. That way, while you're working one muscle group, others get a chance to rest and repair. And just quickly, if you do find this information helpful, then please consider subscribing to the channel as it really does help me out. And if you're looking for guidance on your own fitness journey, then please check out strengthsweatsucceed.com for workouts paired with full nutrition plans and meal prep videos to keep you on track. Next, let's talk about strength. When you lift daily, you're practicing movement patterns regularly, which can improve your coordination and technique. This is especially true for exercises like squats, deadlifts and bench press. In fact, daily practice with lighter weights can make your form almost second nature, helping you to push heavier weights when you do decide to go all out. But remember, true strength gains require both high intensity lifting and recovery. So lifting heavy every single day isn't ideal. For example, if strength training is your main goal, you'd be better off mixing up your intensities, going heavy on one day, moderate the next, and lighter the day after. That approach lets your nervous system recover and reduces the risk of burnout. Now let's look at the risks of lifting daily, specifically fatigue and overtraining. When you push your body hard to its limits every day, you're at a much higher risk of overtraining. Over time, you could feel chronic fatigue, experience irritability, or even get sick more often as your immune system struggles to keep up. Another big factor is joint stress. Daily lifting, especially with heavier weights or poor form, can really wear down your joints, increasing the risk of tendonitis and other injuries. To counteract this, balance your daily lifting with lighter days and some dedicated mobility work. This could include foam rolling and lighter weight mobility exercises that can go a long way to keeping your body healthy. Now let's talk about recovery. This is where many people underestimate the toll of daily lifting. Your muscles need quality sleep to rebuild and lifting daily can lead to increased demand for both rest and nutrients. If you're not getting enough sleep or proper nutrition, your performance can actually decrease. Signs of poor recovery can include trouble falling asleep, feeling sore all the time, or noticing a drop in energy levels during workouts. Trust me, I've seen this firsthand with clients that train too hard without resting. If you do want to lift every day, focus on getting at least seven to eight hours of sleep per night, and make sure you're eating enough protein to support muscle repair. Now let's address the mental side of daily lifting. For some people, training every day gives a sense of accomplishment and consistency. But for others, it can lead to burnout or stress if they feel obligated to hit the gym, even when they're exhausted. From my experience, a great strategy is to set goals, track your progress, but remain flexible. Listening to your body is the key. If you're feeling drained, take a lighter day or focus on different muscle groups. It's better to stay consistent than to risk burnout.
So let's say you commit to lifting weights every day for 30 days. What results could you expect to achieve? At the end of 30 days, you're likely to see some positive changes like improved muscle tone and possibly better technique in certain movements. Lifting daily can build mental toughness and create a solid habit, which is also great. But there's also the risk of fatigue and mental burnout. Some people find that daily lifting leaves them exhausted, which can actually hinder long-term results. So it really is going to depend on your goal and what you are training for. Now here's just a few tips if you do want to try lifting every single day. First up, use a split routine. Focus on different muscle groups each day. For example, do upper body one day, lower body the next, and so on. This lets each group recover while still allowing you to train daily. Second, vary your intensities. Try heavy lifting only one to two times a week, moderate weights on other days, and stick to lighter weights or body weight exercises if you're feeling fatigued. And finally, incorporate active recovery days. These can include light cardio, stretching or foam rolling, activities that keep you moving without taxing your muscles. So, should you lift weights every day? The answer is, it depends. If you have a solid plan, vary your intensities and listen to your body, it can be done. But remember, balance is the key. For many people, taking rest days or focusing on different aspects of fitness throughout the week is just as beneficial, if not more. Now, if you do have any questions about anything I have mentioned, then please ask away in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Now, if you're after the perfect gym shoe for weightlifting, then you may want to check out my next video. Thanks for watching.